official script of pure PLC mob assembly machine by teaching. In this system, today we try to teach the traditional create the visual script. We use S6, press and shifting dot cc file to create this cc file so we have to change the number of control system to number six and make sure that our area is everything is welcome the same as we the input 6 of sequence is 1. The first instructions we have to set IO the input number 6 become off K21 input 6 be off then what the looming pipe and this position with the inner tapping a uh, looming bar at uh, here will touch S6 sensor so P6 dot CC file will be executed to binding three holes at both sides of the uh, alumni bar to let the alumni bar tightly bound with the inner tapping at both ends from the right side first the Y11 will be activated and then Y13 will be ex executed then the mechanism at both sides will moving toward the center until it touched the X16 and the input 20 the movements stopped and then binding 6 T's let Y10 activate it and the Y12 become 1 the hydraulic grip at both ends will move in 5 millimeters toward the center to buy three holes at each side of the alumni bar to let the alumni bar and the inner tapping bound it let's do it doing the visual script by teaching the IO control we have to use K20 let Y11 open so by picking this button then the input becomes 0 the output Y11 so here we have to said the output number is 11 the one is open then K20 11 Y11 on 
at the left side still use set IO the Y13 be opened okay 20 Y13 this is to use MOBUS to activate the Y11 and the Y13 for the 3D simulation we use K26 the object driven by Y11 is the same number object 11 so we have to add one at last just K26 from the right side the right side is the object number put in your coordinate blank space is object 11 object 11 moving this side this side this is positive y this side is negative y the y coordinates the negative y minus the distance is 30 millimeters so you will see the object 11 will moving toward this direction 30 millimeters and for this one as well use K26 the object number is 13 moving the positive y direction 30 millimeters K2630 object 13 and uh, we have to wait to touch the end limit sensor so what's the number let's see again as this pump and this pump in the center we will touch the y16 and uh, the x16 and uh, s input 20 as the input 16 on the input 20 on then we can go to execute the next instruction otherwise just waiting layer this is for the physical machine but the for the simulation we meeting k32 we just uh, wait 10 microseconds and then go to the next uh, instructions so we have to wait input 16 and uh, 20 how to write just use 81 last the k number 32 wait for 16 put in the x position and then at the left side still the same k32 while waiting for the input number 20 become 1 F after thrust in in both side then we have to bite the sixth hole at both sides of the aluminum bar by accurate Y10 and uh, accurate Y12 10 and 12 how to let it open simply use set IO the left the right side is Y10 and uh, open it and uh, at the left side is Y12 let it open while for the simulation the 
there are six creeper three at the, the right side three at the, the left side while doing the 3d simulation we still use 26 for the object 12 which one is object 12 the object 12 is left left side the object 12 is left side moving vertical so this one object is 12 moving down the z direction minus 5 millimeters this one and the uh, object 14 object 14 is left side right down is this one this one with the angle of the vertical 60 degrees so this one moving up and the tower the x positive directions the moving distance is 5 the 5 multiply sine uh, multiply cosine 6 degrees 60 degrees makes 22.5 while the x movement is 5 multiply sine 60 degrees the sine 60 degrees is 0.866 0.866 multiply by 5 makes 4.33 so the object 14 this one we use add one and the, and the real the 3d simulations moving object 14 by k26 the object 14 written down at the U plane space the moving Z direction positive 2.5 millimeters while the X moving positive direction the distance is 433 millimeters so this one while this one is object 14 Yes, K twenty six. The object is fifteen. The Z directions still positive direction. The distance is two point five. While the X directions moving to the neg negative direction. The distance is 4.33. So this side finished. And uh, how about this side? The vertical movement is object 10. So use K26, object 10. Moving down 5 millimeters in Z direction
and uh, this one is object 16 the x partial direction is minus 4.33 the k 26 the object is 16 the partial movements of in z direction is positive 2.5 millimeters while the x duration is minus 4.33 and uh, this one is object 18 the moving the z direction positive 2.5 the x direction is positive 4.33 okay this is the movements of binding by grippers six grippers at both sides and then we have to wait the input signal what to wait let's, let's see as you move to the to meet S14 become 1 it will stop at that position and also meet input 18 become 1 so we have to add 1 at real K32 is waiting waiting at the right side is waiting for the input 614 become 1 and uh, waiting at the left side is waiting for input 18 become 1 so after binding the uh, the Y10 and the Y12 will retract. How to retract? Just use set IO, the Y10 retract, then the Y10 be shut, 0. K21, 10. And at the left side, the Y off shut as well k21 y off cross and how about the, the movements the 3d simulation by using k26 there are three objects at the right sides the first one is 12 object 12 just date xz back to zero it will return back the next one the stand is K26 let the object 14 they try back to zero zero positions and uh, another one of the right side is 15 to back to zero zero position and the left side this one 
is object 10 back to 0 return back and uh, this one is object 16 to 0 0 position the last one is this one is object 18 retreat back to 0 0 position and then we wait for the limit input become 1 as this detract the thir 13 and the 17 will become 1 so we have to use K32 to wait the right side's input 13 become 1 and also waiting for the left sides the input 17 become 1 after the hydraulic gripper back to original positions then we have to retract the Y11 and the Y13 how to do it? Simply by using set IO the Y11 shut just left zero here. Okay, so K21 Y11 being shut, and uh, how to shut the Y13? Write down 13 here and the zero is shut. Okay, so Y21, K21, and uh, Y13 we shut. This is for pure C. While for the simulation, Y11 is object 11. Y13 driven object 13 and one by using K26 the object 11 the track the track to where to zero positions let SYZ being zero K26 zero 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 eleven and then the left side still we use K26 the left object is object 13 back to 0 0 position as well K26 0 0 0 13 and then we wait for the input points meet become 1 and uh, what's the input number we have to wait 11 13 retract so we will touch the input 15 and here the input 19 okay use k32 waiting for the right side's input 15 become 1 while at the left side use K32 waiting for the input number 19 become 1 ok this is the end of the hydraulic binding operating and then we are doing intend to do the shifting
process before doing the shifting process to show the strength of visual script actually we can see by running to see the up to date the operation script so right now since the binding operation finished then we can use run to see how it works okay run bump in binding return back and then return back okay see this size again run bump in binding return back return okay good then we try to do the shifting the shifting process is managed by two by two points one is Y24 to drive a horizontal cylinder another is Y25 to drive a vertical movements cylinder okay let's do it the first step is to let Y25 activate it to lift to lift the mechanism of shifting parts lift up 35 millimeters and the 10 alumni bar will be lifted to leave the touch with both sides supporter and then the Y24 activated to push itself and uh, the children moving toward the X positive directions 50 millimeters to let the 10 alumni bar moving to next position and then the vertical Y25 shut then the yellow parts will lower down to zero position the 10 alumni bar will be will be support by the yellow teeth and uh, not a touch with the green components then the Y24 shut the object 24 will back to its zero positions the children object 25 will back to its original position as well okay let's do it first we have to move to the top positions by using set IO the output number is Y25 let it open the actually simulation is by using K26 the Y25 driving 
object 25 up is along Z positive direction moving 35 millimeters K26 okay, Z 35 object 25 okay then we have to K32 waiting waiting for what as this one lift up will touch the input 39 become 1 so we have to use K32 wait for input 39 become 1 and then we let Y24 accurate it by using set IO now upper number 24 being opened okay while the simulation we have to use K26 to let object 24 the Y24 driven object 24 moving to the positive 50 millimeters in distance 24 15 50 the object is 24 and then, then waiting for the input number 38 become 1 Yes, K32 waiting for 38 become 1 as input 831 38 become 1 the moving to the next step shifting finished then we have to retract the vertical cylinder back to the original by using set IO the output Y25 0 being shut then the green component will lower down to the zero positions the 3D simulations is use 8 1 and the real the K26 the object Y25 driven object 25 to the zero zero position and then waiting for the for the input value 40 by using K32 waiting for 40 become 1 and then as input value 40 become 1 the last show just uh, shut Y24 by using set IO the upper number 24 become 0 then the K26 the Y24 driven object 24 back to zero zero position K26 zero zero object 24 <coughs> and the last waiting the input points 37 become 1 waiting by using 32 the 
input points is 37 okay 32 37 that's it then we can run to see the visual script okay run after binding in binding return back return move up move forward return back so the binding and then the shifting system okay this is the S6 procedure as everyone shift one the first one is vacuum so we have to activate the S6 to let a new alumni bar running down the slope to feed in the first teeth and uh, waiting for the internal tap binding in first teeth so in the procedure of number six controller con number six station at the end we have to activate the S4 to fill in a new alumni bar in the first teeth how to do it simply by using set IO and the input number is 4 open this one has to become 1 so it is K20 input position is 4 as this is executed the P4 prepare the materials sense will be touched this CC file will, will be executed and the one alumni bar will fill in the first vacant space and also for the sense S7 for binding the external components at both sides of the America alumni can commence so we have to activate this input 7 as well the same by using set IO the input number 7 become 1 so this holder will up and down and a thrust will push the external components to bite assembly at the last teeth at both sides as the seven input be activated and one more is the itself P6 the press points and the shifting script has to be activated how to do it the same by set IO the input number is 6 then P6 CC file will execute it okay that's it that's it then we have to save the file name is P6 Y by using save CC inside the D drive CMS GAC 
data file folder. The file name is p6. Press point and shift y. CC. And save it. That's it. Then we can see the whole procedure. The nine sequence running in random. Controlling by pressing PLC mode, PLC one mode, and uh, touch six running starting from P six. You will see the binding after binding, then shifting. And then S4 in one fresh Adobe bar in first position, and then plus in the in internal typing inside the Adobe bar, and you can see the whole running. The S1 is moving up as well. And uh, this holder up and down and thrust in and then open the holder with the foundations, join materials, slow down the whole procedure. Let's use a new one without the fixed foundation. Let's reset. The operating first and then use new to clear the buffer. Like again use sync input then of sync choosing this one YF7 new 33 Y. This one the same with this one but without the fixed parts actually the fixed components the big fixed component so open the file you can see only the component driven by y are joining on the screen then the same we can use PLC modes and the cycle start to survey the whole procedure and to count the cycle time how many minutes how many seconds to produce one product actually we count uh, these simple 3D simulations take about five seconds for one circle so makes 12 pieces per minute to meet the requirements of the specification okay today's editing the visual script by teaching finished